Happy Wednesday! Are you guys ready for the best show ever? Ever! Welcome to Day Night with Connie and Chrissy. I'm your host, Connie Henriquez, and my crazy co-host... Crazy Chrissy Bogue. Crazy and we have this beautiful Chrissy banner of Bogue. us up in the in between us. Don't you love our new picture? <laughs> Where'd you do it? Staples? This travels with us wherever we go. Don't you love it? You have it like in the trunk. Totally. So it's in the window. Behind you, they could see us. <laughs> They're like, who the hell are they? It's in the window. <laughs> no, it's very nice. Though. I love it. I think it's We had great. this at our one year anniversary party, which was amazing, which we'll get to. Exactly. We're going to get to that. But just yes. before, because I don't want to forget, because this is super important, and I know it's summer, and we all want to get in shape. Yep. So I just want to mention. So we shouldn't be drinking tea, though, then. No. Well, we could, because <laughs> we're not going to do it just quite now. We're going to start in <laughs> fall or something. Dennis. <laughs> the uh, Health Education and Literacy Program, it's HEAL, and it's helping communities move from health move towards, oh my God, not move from, no, move towards move health from. and wellness. You know move from. So it's a challenge that goes from July 9th and it ends August 7th and you can find out more about it at healthedendlit.org. We got to put totally that up. That. I know. He talked about that on the show. Yes, exactly. So there's the flyer. Dennis you can check Barry. Check it out there. Yeah, Dennis Amazing Barry. Amazing fitness trainer. Who we love and um, definitely it's a great health challenge. I know we said we were going to do it, but to oh, be yeah, honest that's with right. you, we did tell it's them summer <laughs> and so we can't commit just yet. <laughs> Dennis, I'm sorry. I we're like going to commit in the fall, too much. though. Forget the, it. In the you fall. Lost me. In the fall. So just go to, um, again, healthandlit.org. Uh, it's a summer step challenge, and you could sign up now. Definitely sign up. Don't follow us. What do we have a, to do? We have to eat strict and no. If they count your steps. Oh, forget it, guys. And so, but the good thing is, there's cash prizes. So you can oh yeah, that's money. right. I wanted to win the money. Right, that's what sold you. Dennis mentioned it. Chrissy heard money. She's I like, I'm in. And then she's I like, don't you're do in. I'm steps. like, I'm in. I'm always sitting. I know. I'm either sitting with you at Miller's <laughs> drinking, sitting here drinking. <laughs> I wonder if hand arm movements. Oh, count. that's right. We should Maybe. ask him that. All right, we'll ask him that. Yeah, but sign up. It's a great, great, great. Uh, challenge and we're going to do it in the fall and Dennis is amazing where could they and sign up from Dennis. does he have a website I forgot. Uh, he does but I'm not sure what it is at this point you can go All to right. Facebook and look up Dennis Berry who's this amazing personal trainer he does one-on-ones he does classes mm -hmm. he does groups he does everything so check it out that's right yeah I'll hire him after the summer in the fall <laughs> in the fall when it doesn't matter anymore what I look like <laughs> when I can cover up a bit um, <laughs> But also, I wanted to say the other thing, how amazing was last Tuesday, we were invited by the very awesome Benny, Benny. Gagoots to be on the Gagoots show. What That's up? Right. Shout out to it's Benny, Benny is in Gagoots. our audience as well. <laughs> He's such a big fan of us that he came to our live <laughs> taping tonight as well. Well, I'm actually ex excited. We have a big live audience I know. Today. We have a huge one, guys. Yeah. Where's my family? My family's over here. <laughs> 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 but we got Benny. Hello. We got we James. Have... We got Joseph. Right, so what did, you, what did you love? <laughs> so I almost what, forgot Nat was here. What did you? We love you. I know, she's like a staple. <laughs> what did you love best about the Gagood show? I liked the game. I loved playing the game. Because I got all the answers right, right, <laughs> Benny? Was I good? I was pretty good. I was getting them right. Well, I thought it was funny. At first, they wanted us to go against each other. And yeah, the one I thing like we that. don't do is we don't no. go against each other. No. We're always on the same team. We're not That's dumb. Right. That's right. So that's right. We played against Benny, and I feel like we won. We won. <laughs> we were at like seven. He was still at like two. Not even his his score was never changing. <laughs> do we have a picture from it? Uh, and then we had. We did. We do. We do we did. have one? Vicky met him. Uh, Vicky, did you show the picture already? There it is. I love it. I love it. That was Us so much fun. Gang. And we love Benny's wife, Nancy. Oh, she my God. adorable. We love her. She was our photographer. She was. Mm -hmm. She did a great job. She took all our pictures at our uh, one-year anniversary party. They came to hang out. They had a great time. Where's the Frank Vetro picture, though? I'm still... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can you ask your wife, Benny? <laughs> she didn't get back to me on that one. Someone took the picture, and I can't find it. But try to ask her, Benny. It's probably... Benny doesn't even care. He's not even answering us. I know. She's away. She's away. He doesn't care. That's why he's here. Nancy's out partying. <laughs> he's like, party. She's away. Score. <laughs> Let's go we, to Miller's. We love Nancy. So anyway, no, we, Benny, we had a great time on your show. We're actually we going to be back. Well, first of all, all we, right. you could find the Gagoot Show on Madhouse TV on Tuesdays at wow, you remember the 6 p.m. Wow. And we're going to be on the show again I on know. July 26th. It's a little intimidating, though, this time. We're playing against his actual hosts, co-hosts. We're going to have date night against the Gagoots right. chicks. And what's the name of the game show, guys? Breaking Wind? Or no, that's the no, name of your segment. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of it? You try not to do that. Walker from Napoli Dance 
Knock them dead. Knock them dead comedy. We love them. They were and amazing. And Sal's an amazing singer. He'll he'll be back as well. That's right. He'll be singing our uh, winning song because we're going to win. <laughs> our, our winning song, We're going to beat yes. those biatches. Yeah. You're not really biatches, <laughs> but I'm just saying that. We're <laughs> just trying to, like, <laughs> go with We're going to get to a brawl here at Madhouse. <laughs> I'm scared, guys. So <laughs> tune in Tuesday the 20th. I feel like it's the 26th. 26th at 6 p.m. That's right. Good show. What's their names? Who are we playing against? Jeannie and Nicole. Nicole. All right, Jeannie and Nicole. It's on. You better drink your Tito before you end. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're in pink. You better study up on your questions. I'm going to. I feel, But the questions that I don't remember the questions, they were like difficult, no? It was a lot about sex. <laughs> it was no that they you and know, I was getting a right. towards that for us I know, they for some reason that. I don't know why. Right. It was about Mars or the moon. movies. He wanted to do movies <laughs> that we didn't know. Me and you didn't know soap <laughs> operas. We're like, ah, we don't watch that. Well, what about dating advice? We're gonna yeah, talk. we got to do dating. Mm -hmm. That just dating. Just dating. We're drinking. That's it. Tito's, if they ask us about alcohol, I'll we'll get that right. Just Tito's for everything. Right. Exactly. Tito's, Tito's always the answer. Exactly. <laughs> We eat gluten, but we like to <laughs> chug it down with gluten-free uh, alcohol. That's how we roll. And then we occasionally have the chocolate cake. Correct. We haven't done that in a while. I know. Well, we're trying to be... Yeah, I don't like it. I usually, know. you usually recommend it. I usually it. encourage it. I know. All right. Well, we had mozzarella sticks. That's mozzarella true. Sticks. They were pretty good to me. They were delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and chicken tender. I was like, what is that? <laughs> Scotty messed up our order at Miller's. That's why we All can't right, we do the health them. challenge. Oh, right by now. the way. We're going to the Alive after 5 tomorrow night, so if anybody wants to join us, we're doing a bar crawl, date night style. Yeah, and Patchog. Right? Patchog, it starts at 5. I feel like, yeah, I think But it I is. would get there at 4 to get a parking <laughs> spot because they're going to close it off. They are. So, oh, Elamore, who is a guest on our show, they're amazing. We love them. The Masked Lovers, they play all 80s love music. They're going to be performing at the Emporium at 7, you said? I feel, yes, yeah, 7. All right, so we're going to be there. We're going to be outside at an Emporium. They're we're performing outside. We're going to be hanging out, and if you remember, they are broken hearted. That's so they right. They play the uh, most craziest, depressing. And no, love it's not. <laughs> kidding. They love play songs. up good stuff. <laughs> They play uh, Phil Collins against all odds, my favorite. <laughs> I hope they play tomorrow. I hope they do Prince, Little Red Corvette. Oh, yeah. We missed uh, the Prince tribute when they did that. You're right. Did, you, re did you request Phil Collins for tomorrow? I'm going to try. The keyboard player loves to play it, so okay. as long as I tell him, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be there. If you want to meet up with us, go to Emporium tomorrow night at 6. So, I would say we'll seven. be there at 6. Be there at 6. It starts at 7. We'll right. be in the crowd somewhere. Right. With we'll be crawling. With At our that po point. With our posse. <laughs> <laughs> and James, our videographer, will be doing interviews with That's us. That's right. We're going right. to be doing some video so we can show it on the next show. Exactly. So if you want to be on camera, join us. <laughs> join us. And then also, how about was our amazing birthday party? <sighs> I felt like it was our wedding. I felt like it Remember was. Remember when we and you went to the bathroom? I'm like, Connie, I feel like it's our wedding. <laughs> we can't talk to anybody. I couldn't even pee. <laughs> it was crazy, but that's how it, it is. Was. It, was, it was such a great turnout. I want, and we Thank want, you to Steve Carl. We again. love Steve Carl. He's amazing. He's the uh, owner of uh, Carl Island the Green, yes. where we do the party in the park. And he yes. does it every Wednesday, so check it out. They're actually there now. Yeah. So oh, yeah, that's right. They're missing us, I'm That sure. 70s band is yes. playing right now as we speak. But uh, we had a blast, and we have some great pictures from our party. Yes. So, Vicky, show it. That is our beautiful picture and our oh. selfie station. Because <laughs> they haven't seen it enough. I know. <laughs> Then we have us in the beginning of the night when we were free and clear and excited. Right. Thank God we ate beforehand. I know. See? Thank I God Joseph got us the hot dogs and the burgers. There's our cake. How much There's did you Steve. love our cake? I loved our cake. You did a great job with that. It was so adorable. That's it in the shopping cart. Did you like the yeah. <laughs> Did you like <laughs> the board? Awesome. That awesome board. <laughs> the There's Steve Carl. We love him. There's James, our videographer. No, you look at it. You gotta look at to the right. Oh, <laughs> James is coming up next. There's James, your psychic, folks. James. That's our videographer. <laughs> There's Giseph. That would, no, not yet. Now. Giseph. All right. All right. <laughs> Giseph is up this next. This is my honey bunnies. Oh, who do we got? Then is that we Tom? We have Tom Healy. Yeah. He showed up with Vicky. Thank you, for guys, thank you guys Vicky. for showing up. Then we have some great party in the park uh, partiers. Yeah. They were, no, they were date night followers. Mm hmm. And, and, uh, in the park. <laughs> and there's the family. Yeah, your fam showed up. That's that was awesome. Right. Of course, it was great to see them. And then we have. I can't even see who are they. No, I can't see. I don't know who they are. They were date night. There's my Jets group people. Oh, the Jets group. Mel and George, they're from my Jets group. That's right. That was so nice uh, that they showed up. Then we have the Natalie. other clan, Mina, Cheryl, Jackie, and my sister, of course. That's Natalie's crew? That's right, Natalie's crew. There's that, 
The Natalie. There There's she is the again. Natalie. <laughs> she was managing the whole night. She was great. She was managing the we line of people. We would have been a hot mess had it not been for her. <laughs> That's, That's right. And then we Where's Przenk? Oh. Date night. <laughs> there we got Frank. it. Frank Mullen of Oh, you didn't do the one of us. Oh, I did. Oh, right. I, we did. It it's right there. I didn't do it very well. You look better. You look more natural doing it. I more practice. There's Mandy and Nicole. Nicole, Mandy, we love them. And then Raffaella, Nicole, and Mandy. They looked great. They look great. That was dark. Raffaella, our paint night winner. Where's us and Frank? I know. You still wait. Benny's wife has it somewhere. You're still waiting for that Frank. And there's Gail. We love our matchmaker, Gail. Yes. Seventh in heaven. Seven in heaven. Yes, seven in heaven. Seven in heaven. We went and to a singles Frank event. Frank again in a normal pose without what the metal he likes the face. other pose better. And I love this. It's a panoramic. Where's picture. Maureen? It's coming up. Hold on. Don't, this is panoramic. Don't, don't jump, ahead, jump ahead. That's a crowd. I see Benny coming up though. I see Benny. <laughs> There's Benny. Benny yeah, with his Corona I shirt. I loved it. He was getting free Coronas all night because of his shirt. Did you really? Of course. Unbelievable, man. Date night. Unbelievable. There's Maureen and Steve. I don't even remember that picture. Yes. Oh, and I, this is my favorite picture of I the whole entire this. night. Nancy the selfie that Nancy took. I love Benny. this. Yeah, that was great. We love that. I love that picture. Mm -hmm. She made it her profile picture. I loved it. Us with, I don't even know. Our date are. night people. Party they just the wanted to pick with us. Gary. Gary Parks. Gary Parks. He only, he's the one that came on our show twice. Yes. Well, Frank did too, though. Frank got Oh, my God, he did? Yes. Are There's Maureen, sure? our matchmaker, Long Island matchmaker. Great. We didn't even give any Maureen Frank Nelson. Any and then, of course, we have tonight's our guest, guest tonight. Heather Lehrman. She also Look came how beautiful she well. is. She's so, tiny. That was like literally the best party ever. I gotta stop eating after seeing that picture of her. Oh, stop <laughs> it. She looks beautiful We're too. We're gonna to do me. the health challenge in fall. We are? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. The maybe. only challenge is me getting out of bed to go, to go do that. <laughs> I am not uh, doing that. You never know. You never know. You're All right. Uh, but anyway, okay. our party was amazing. Thank you to everyone amazing. who showed up. Yes. We had a great time. Thank you to everybody that came and supported us. That was so nice. What that a good turnout. Great. We had a great time. And then also, we... Oh, and then the other thing is, so we had a party. It was great. Make sure our, our next event, we have a bunch of events lined up, so make sure you look yes. out for it. We'll announce it here and also on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But also, this I Saturday. know you weren't around. What? Because you probably were on a hot date. Ah, oh, gee, here but we Jeff go. And I What'd you guys were do with that? Actually, able to see the mouse trap. Yeah, you went without me. That was messed up. Yeah. I know. So there, you you, there we are with the gang at the mouse trap. Yep. It's I never the saw new it yet. Wine cafe in Amityville. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna go to the psychic night though that Vicky invited me to. We're gonna do the to. spicy psychic. I yes. can't wait. And then there's our uh, selfie picture in the mouse trap. So check it out. Vicky, when do they open? I love it. When When's the open? psychic when do you night? Open? Yeah, next week. August 1st is Psychic Wine and Cheese at the Mousetrap. Yeah. You have to make reservations. Yeah. We don't need them. We don't need them. Of course not. <laughs> I hope we don't but need them. It's beautiful. So Tom's going to be at the door like, you guys can't come in. <laughs> you didn't make a reservation. Check it You're out. out. It's the Mousetrap Cafe in yeah. Avenueville. They have the best wines, cheese, and like... Oh, you had the wine and cheese? No. Congratulations. <laughs> you did that without me as well? <laughs> What else no, did you do with so that? Check it out. You'll see a lot of us there, so it'll be fun. Oh, by the way, really quick before you get to yourself, uh, self <laughs> I always call it self love. <laughs> Start loving life tip of the week. We're going to a great event this Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're going to be doing interviews at the Healthy Guru event in the Hamptons. It's exciting. So, all celebrity trainers will be there. Uh, Kate Hudson's trainer. Cool. What's her name again? Kelly Rippa. Kelly Rippa? Yeah, oh, Kelly Rippa's cool. trainer will be there. So we're going to be interviewing them, and it's, I can't wait. It's funny. Shape Magazine is hosting it. Shape Magazine. Mm -hmm. I was at Planet Fitness today, which I very rarely go to. I saw you post that. I was and like, what? I had to. I was like, I'm like, here, I better post this stuff. <laughs> and it was funny because Kelly Ripa was on TV, and she's pretty ripped, that one. I know. She's, she's tiny, ripped. but her arms are pretty nah, ripped. she's ripped. Yeah. She looks so amazing. So cool. We get to meet her, her trainer. Exactly. So now we're going to know what to do exactly. as we chug our Tito's <laughs> as we're interviewing them. Oh, that's what we do? Okay. So I should stop drinking. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's not But happening. if I do this, if I fill more Tito's up, it'll help my arm. <laughs> exactly. The jug of Tito's. That's a good weightlifting thing. That's a thing. great. We should do that. We should do a fitness video together. We should. Of Tito's vodka. And then the more we drink, like the lighter it gets. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> You could get ripped off of drinking Tito's and no one knew. <laughs> See, that's a good workout video. James, good. we need you to video We're us doing it. the workout video. We're on it. Are you available next weekend? <laughs> We'll do the All jug. Right. All right, so my Star Loving Life tip of the day is, this is a really good one. It's actually really simple. It's called oh. practice saying yes. 
I like that one. Now, how many times do you know people that their favorite word is no? Like, you want to yes. punch them in the face. Like, you know, you're like, oh, you want to go do this? No. It's like, eh, right? right? It's and like, wah, wah. Exactly. And when you think about it, there's so many amazing things out there. Be open. You don't right. know what's going to present. Exactly. Itself, right? Like, what I love, and this is the relationship we have, when Chrissy has something cool, she'll say, oh, Con, we're going to do this. I go, All right. right. Of course. She has something cool. We just do it. Exactly. Same thing. You Very don't easy. Say no. No. Why do you want to just sit home? Right, you don't want to sit home. Like, You're not going to need anybody anytime. sitting home. You do that during a snowstorm. Come on, people. <laughs> you don't have to do it. Get out there and say yes. I love that. Practice That's awesome. Practice saying yes. Practice saying yes. Yes, so what's I, your bestie? I love my bestie. This is perfect for a romantic date on the beach. Mm. It is called the sand stand. Me and you need to get this, by the way. <laughs> Me too, okay. <laughs> so, yes. um, do we have the picture? Yes. All right. It features little loops for your sunglasses. It has a holder for the wine bottle, or Tito's bottle, I should say, not wine. The um, audience loves it. The audience thank loves you guys. it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it has holders for your glasses. And by the way, they also sell wine, plastic wine glasses on the website. No. How cool is that? So you can so, get the stand and plastic wine glasses. Correct. Now, guess what else is on this table? What? Bottle openers, guys. Bottle, bottle openers. openers? Yep. Bottle openers, guys. <laughs> Oh my God, do you ever have a wine bottle and not have a, a bottle opener? That's the worst. I did that once at a Dave Matthews concert and Raphael wanted to kill me. Did you pry it open with your teeth? <laughs> <She won. laughs> no, I had to go around and ask people for a wine opener. So anyway, it's they're $75 though, but it's not bad. That's I think it's worth bad. it. I feel like that would last a long time. I, I do think. too. And it comes in an array of uh, woods. Oh, woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Sorry, I had to say it. Um, <laughs> Benny, gets, <laughs> Benny gets it. Then you get so anyway, thing. you could go to sandstand.com. Me and you have to get this ASAP. ASAP. Right? I Fire Island. I'm bringing this to Fire Island. It's a, is it heavy? No. Did you see the girl carrying it? Look how uh, easy it was. She's pretty decent. Vicky, can you though. bring it back up? Look, there see? Vicky was quick it. with that. <laughs> Look how easy that is. You travel with it. I love it. So you can right? find Chrissy and I on the beach with the sand stand. Right. But. Won't be wine. But the thing is, a lot of times on the beach, isn't alcohol like illegal? Not in certain parts of Ocean Beach. Oh, you have it all cut right here. You have it all Come covered. on, man. Yeah. We're nuts. And then we could sell the wine to other people because other people are going to be jealous. Well, we're going to sell Tito, not wine. Right, Tito's. We're going to sell <laughs> Tito's, right. Like, That's $10 a glass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so go get your $75 sand <laughs> stand at sandstand.com. I love it. I, love I can't it. wait for our guest tonight. I know, me too. Look so at all our awesome <laughs> dog stuff up here. I don't, I don't even have an animal. You do, though. I know. We have a little farm Pumpkin. of animals. You should bring him up here tonight. I he's know. in the green room. We should. I we love should. that he's in the green room. <laughs> like, he's a celebrity. He's watching on, on the uh, screen in there. <laughs> Pumpkin. And we have the very awesome Heather Lehrman. Yes. And she she's beautiful. She's the owner of Designer Dog Apparel. Yes. Not only th that, she does pet sitting services. That's right. My she sister a, may want to use her for this. She does a whole bunch of things, so we can't wait to hear more about Heather. I know. And she's written a book. Oh, yeah, that's right, a children's book, a which children's I love. Book. It's about bullying, which yeah, I love. Which, I'm very, yeah, we, we don't Oh, like all right, so. we got a commercial. All that's right, right. Thank all you, right. James, gotta, the videographer, is now our uh, director. <laughs> 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 He's the owner of Madhouse TV now. <laughs> all right, so we'll be right back. Refill. Refill. Get your eyes checked. You're going to see a beautiful woman in about five minutes. There you <laughs> go. Come back. <laughs> Being a fireman is more than just putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas with a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this. You'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. 
It's not. Shh. Trust me, I'm a professional. And last and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, you mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. Being a fireman is more than... Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hot hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. Senior discounts all day, every day. Ladies' Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. so good I won't have to bathe the next two weeks. Yay! <laughs> Anything. So, here, laugh a little harder. <laughs> Get a new sweater. The worst dressed man here tonight. <laughs> Look, get that laugh. Get that laugh and get it in there tonight because nobody else is going to laugh like her. She's under drugs, all right? And we're back. Bye. With the awesome Heather Lehrman. Look how beautiful she is. I love your pink dress. We match. I need that. <laughs> we, match. Um, <laughs> we, we match like we a match match our shoes <laughs> and, and the exact color. That's amazing. I, I said I was wearing my hot pink dress at your party last week. That's right. It's beautiful. Who knew we'd match? Get it. Wait, what Gorge. boutique did you So get? I got this at Impulse, Impulse Boutique. Going they have one in Port Washington and one in Greenport. And I used to buy all my dresses there. And really? then they kept telling me, gain weight, gain wow, weight. They're not fitting really? you. Oh my they always had to give me the extra that. <laughs> that. I wish someone would tell me I used that. to tell them I didn't lose a pound every, every week. I didn't lose a pound, but the dresses oh my God. get d different styles, different designers. Of course. I've never been told that comment in my life. <laughs> Connie, I've been... <laughs> I'm like, stop <laughs> drinking, stop drinking. <laughs> That's about it. You guys were just talking about Kelly Ripa, and yes. it's funny because a girlfriend of mine went to the show, mm -hmm. 
she was in the audience and she goes, she texted me that night and said, I was looking at Kelly Ripa saying, I've never seen such a tiny woman in my whole life. And then I thought about Heather oh. and said, Heather's the only other person I know that's so oh small. Oh my God. <laughs> so so she's Ripa's tiny too. Tiny like she's you tiny. Yeah. I mean, she's in amazing shape yes. and I don't have a trainer or anything. She has crazy diesel arms. Her she's arms are petite, ripped. Like, She's very tiny. Yeah, she is. She has no, not, so she no said, fat on So she said, Heather is the only person I could think of. I, yes. She, so I, you know, I take it as a compliment. I love you Kelly. You do. You look, and you look amazing. Yeah, you do. Now, amazing. tell us a little bit about, you have two businesses, right? I have you just two started businesses. Designer Dogs, but what was your original Okay, business? my original business is called In-Home Pet Services. Okay. And we do dog walking, pet sitting. We are an originator of Pet CPR and First Aid, which is oh. an amazing course. What I, is that? Our franchisor actually teaches it, and she'll, it's up on the website. Go to inhomepetservices.com, and she'll do classes at, like, Bita Wee and Wontour, sometimes Suffolk County, Nassau County, Queens. I think she's even done in Manhattan. But it is the best four hours if you own a pet. You learn everything from pet CPR for, mm. to What? The you need to know how to save Pumpkin's I life. I yes. thought about this. I honestly could say that I saved Herbie, my Boston Terrier's life, Oh my God! Days after I went to her class, what no way. Six years, years ago, I bought the the. I learned how to, I bought my franchise six years ago, so I own the Gold Coast location. There's locations in Brooklyn, Queens, and all throughout Nassau and Suffolk, and we just keep growing. And these franchises sell like hotcakes. I'm telling you, it's the best way to get into a business really? if you really want to start your own business. First, I want to hear what for the, the CPR for the dog sitting is the best franchise. Pet, dog pet walking, sitting? pet sitting. We do da doggy daycare, boarding, pet taxiing to and from groomers and vets. Um, you know, you name it. But we are personalized from house to house. You are not Manhattan style with 20 dogs well, on each. Well, first, I want to hear how yeah. you saved so Herbie's I, life. I yes, saved I, Herbie. That I, want to know. <laughs> I saved Herbie because I learned how to do the doggy Heimlich. And you think what? it's a joke, but there's a certain way. And she shows you on different sized dogs. You, you work on dummy dogs. And she showed me how to do my size dog, the way that you do it. And Herbie had a little toy stuck in his throat as a puppy. Aww. And I did the Heimlich. And I, he spit it out. Now, and I saved his life. Wow. How did you know he had a toy stuck in his throat? Because he was playing with it. And he started choking on it. Aww. And I did the Heimlich on him. And it came right out. Oh, my God. So Wait, I saved you? his was life. He, like, oh, he thanks me every day for the last five years Aww. that I've had him. He's my love. But that class, I'm telling you, everyone leaves feeling so much safer about their pet and knowing what to do. I never and knew there was something like that. No, me like neither. That. I'm Everyone like, oh, I've got to bring it to the vet again. Look up when the next class is because... <laughs> Another thousand dollars. I go and refresh myself every couple of years because then you're certified as a pet tech for two years and... You could save another animal's life. You Aww. you learn so many things if bleeding breaks, you know, if there's a dog fight, just different things that people really, really need to know. I'm gonna tell my sister to take it. I'm gonna take my it. My sister would love to take it. I would love to take it too. So that Where was do they my teach first this? business. Um, if you go on in home .com, she'll have a list of mm. just it'll say pet CPR and first aid and she'll have a list of where she does it. And the class is four hours, it's eighty five dollars and it's worth every penny. I'm telling you, every pet owner needs to take this class. So now, what's the name of that business that you in uh, in home pet services? Okay, and then the other one is designer dogs. Designer dogs. So and in home pet services, I bought into six years ago, and I own the North Shore location territory, basically where it's like Port Washington, Roslyn, Manhasset, okay, Glen Cove area, Seacliff, all the surrounding towns. So we each get our own territory, and you just start building. So from day one, wow. six years ago, I started building. For anyone who's afraid of getting started in a new business, my suggestion is do something you absolutely love. Mm -hmm. And I swear one day someone asked me, well, what are your passions? What are your hobbies? And I'm like, <laughs> puppies? Aww. I couldn't think of anything. This right. was years ago. And I honestly joke about that today because it's. I feel like I project everything because I just Aww. said puppies and now this is my life. Wow. I work I with dogs it. every day. And you have to do what you love. and. Having the franchise behind me was great because starting my own business, you know, starting from scratch is really hard like I did with designer dogs. Mm -hmm. But in-home pet services, you already have, they had a reputation already. People don't know mm. who you are. Pets are like children. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. people are worse with their pets than their own children. I agree with you. I yeah. have so mm -hmm. many clients that will say, come anyway. My kids are home from college. <laughs> I don't care. Come walk my dog anyway. I don't trust them. Right. So wow. I have a lot of clients like that. Wow. 
And um, we do anything from coming to the person who has to work every day, nine to five, and we come right. once a day. I have people twice a day we come walk their dog. Now, what about if you have a big dog that's rowdy? Mm. We like don't, you're tiny. Yeah. What do you do? You think that I can't handle it. I walk 140 pound I know, but what Irish about if they, uh, if they pull you? Some dogs well, are not trained. Well, it's all about the right harnesses. And oh. I tell my clients, you need the proper harness for oh. us to walk this dog. Mm. So there are so many great harnesses out there now. And you can walk any size dog. I was walking wow. a dog that weighed way more than me. Um, a bull mastiff who's probably oh 140 gosh. pounds. Wow. And yeah. I was literally, because he had the right, proper leash and trained correctly, I could just, it was just like this. Walking no way. Him. Is there ever a dog that you're like, hell no? <laughs> hell no. <laughs> we, what about, we don't, what about those? we do not take aggressive dogs. So if you called me for a consultation and I cannot come into your house because your dog won't let me and he's going to mm. be aggressive, we unfortunately cannot take that kind of dog. So all our clients are good dogs. I mean, some of them, Right. They do have some little behavioral problems, but, you know, they have abandonment issues when their mommy and daddy leave the house right. or whatever. Aww. But they get used to us and the dog walkers. So, Heather, what's the process then? So mm. you do a consultation first? Yes. Like, tell, we walk come us to your the house. Process. Okay. So if you call me for pumpkin, yeah. your, your chihuahua, <laughs> yeah. and you Four are... in a cage right now. Uh, just say you're not even Cursing a daily out. client, but... Yeah. You just found out about us because I get referred through my clients. They all, I get a call every day now. It's at the point where my neighbor uses you. I heard so many great things about you. My sister, my cousin, it's all Aww. referrals. There's people don't even find me online, and we're big wow. online. We have a big online presence, but I just get referrals now. So I come over and I go through a checklist with you. I'm going to ask you everything about your dog. Everything about the house. Like what? Give us some. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so first I'm going to say what your dog, I'm going to ask you your dog's name mm -hmm. and let me come in and let the dog sniff me. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to approach your dog. Your dog's going to approach me. And what about if my dog is barking like what's So if she's barking, <laughs> and there are dogs that are going to do that. And yeah. we have a client coming up soon that it's a Jack Russell Terrier and that dog is going crazy because the own she's so protective of her owner. Mm -hmm. So with the mm -hmm. owner home, she didn't want us near him. Right. So we just got down and let him just come over to us and sniff us. Oh. And with the first couple of days, it's going to be like that. It might be impossible to get him out in the yard or walk him. Mm -hmm. But he's going to realize, okay, you're here to let me out. They're not home. They Do you bring home. over a steak? Like, does that <laughs> you just throw Don't a ever steak? carry treats on you. No, <laughs> no. really? <laughs> no, because other dogs... The stray dogs that run out to you in the middle of the street sometimes oh, out of nowhere, point. you don't want things on you. I mean, <laughs> on, the, the owner will usually, they pack some little bag right. for you sometimes to take with you with the dog walk. And you'll take their own little treats and give them their own treats. But you don't ever want to bring your own because they could be on a special diet. Oh, that's uh, right. God some it, right? dogs are that's on all natural food expert. too. Right. But I come over and I'll say, okay, you know, Connie you referred to me by your friends and so you know that I walk her dogs whatever even if you weren't referred to me by a friend you found me online right. so I have a checklist and I'm gonna say how old is your dog what kind of breed is it um, any medical issues that we should be aware of is he on any medications if so mm -hmm. are you giving wow. him the medications morning and night mm -hmm. because we don't administer medications you really need a vet tech to do that mm -hmm. I don't suggest that you just have anybody give your dog medications right so if the person's away and they say, you know, can you please, we Pop would never pill. give a shot or anything, <laughs> right. but if, if it's a pill that goes in their food and it's nothing that's dangerous that could really harm the dog, you know, we Aww. could do that. But we won't administer any needles or oh, yeah. insulin or anything. You, yeah. But we have a vet tech on some, some of the franchisees have a vet tech on staff mm -hmm. so they could come and do well, it. Well, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah. Now, what inspired you to get involved in all this? Obviously, because you're a dog. I was, in the <laughs> I was in the corporate world for years, and... You know what? I opportunity knocks because my company was moving out to Colorado. I was in Manhattan working at a desk job and my company asked me to come and I said, oh, wow. you know, I don't see myself rerouting my life out there and I just got Herbie and he was a puppy and I literally just brought him home and I didn't know anything about dog walking services. So I went online mm. and I researched a few companies and I found in-home pet services. And the franchisor herself came over oh. and actually 
came in and saw her be this big on my lap because <laughs> I just brought him home and he was sleeping and I was petrified <laughs> to move and she was like, oh my God, you know, none of the dog walkers are going to want to leave him because he was so cute as a baby, but Aww. she made me feel so comfortable and the reason why in-home pet services is so great. And but by the way, we won Best of Long Island. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. The reason why is because the audience loves it. Go on our website and we she showed me pictures of dogs at the time I lived in Great Neck in a pet friendly co-op community. Uh -huh. Showed me dogs of my own neighbors. Oh my so gosh. I'm able to show people in Roslyn, look, you know, they all know each other. People just know each other and then right. I have all my dogs listed and it just makes you feel comfortable knowing my neighbor is using this company. Right. So I just started using her while I worked in the city. Before I knew they were going to move out of state, I kept looking at the franchise page. There's a franchise page if anyone's interested. Look at it, and she has a video and tells you all about it. And I just called her up knowing that the company was leaving, and I said, is the North Shore still open? Because you had to live in your territory. And she's uh, like, yep. I came over. Next thing you knew, wow. I was lined up to be the next, well, I was in the newspaper. Um, first client turned pet owner. Pet no way. Owner. Yes. The first, first client that's turned crazy. pet service that's owner. Great. Look at that. Bo, Bo going to do date night doggy <laughs> services. That's right. <laughs> I don't have a dog. <laughs> don't laugh, but I run a dog group. And you guys, oh wait, that's right too. But wait, you were also on TV, right? This was, yes. you guys have been featured on yes. so what, News 12? or Long Island, I run the Long Island Smush Face group. And oh, it's right. all the little smushies, Boston Terriers, pugs. I love this. French Bulldogs, Shih Tzus, all the little smudge faces <laughs> that so snore. So no chihuahuas. No chihuahuas. No no but they are invited if they're friendly under 30 pounds. Oh, great. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. You can go on meetup.com. Long Island Smush Face Group is on they're gonna there. They're going to be sitting there like looking at each other like, pumpkins, they don't want us here. Pumpkin's a little small, but if she's friendly and gets along with other dogs, no. I allow all sorts he does it. He, he tried to bite me when I went over to the place, remember? So he's not invited. I was actually scared of him when I went <laughs> no, over there. No, you weren't. <laughs> well, he's kind of, Grace is like, barks at everything, walking by. Yes. Is Pumpkin like that? No, of course not. Oh, well, Grace does. Don't laugh now, okay? Come on. He's a little bit of He tried a, to like bite to me. I say he's a little fearful. He's a little scared. Little dog syndrome. He tried syndrome. to bite me. It's little dog it's syndrome. It's called a love nip. Yeah, whatever. But, um... <laughs> But I came up with the group literally for Herbie because Aww. I looked up Boston Terrier. You know, meetup.com. Oh, Do yeah. Do you guys know them? Yes, yeah, we're they on have it. everything. You could join the group for anything. Yeah. Oh, so, so you I looked have a group up on Boston, there. So that's where my Long Island Smush Face oh. group is. You could join for free, put your photo of your dog, come join us at the dog park. I put where oh, we're going to be awesome. like every six weeks. We have an annual awesome doggy Halloween party that I throw oh, no. every year. Oh. You gotta go to that We usually one. have it at Petco. I do a contest. We That's do top cute. winners. Love Herbie it. won best dog costume two years ago. I made him what did a chia wear? pet. No. I made a my chia own chia pet what? costume. <laughs> now wait, well, you you did, gave a did you get an advantage because it was your contest? No. That's oh. true, honey. I actually brought You're him to the Port Washington. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I brought him to the Port Washington doggy parade, not my own. Okay. And I was so more proud of myself because I didn't know I could make anything like that. And I went crazy Aww. at Michael's buying everything. Ch -ch 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 Do you have a picture? We should have <laughs> I'll get. I'll put this. the picture on your Facebook All right, we'll put that on right. Because it looks awesome. It looks awesome. But we do a Halloween party. We do Doggy Bowl. I do all the different Aww. events for the Smush Face group. And I wanted to tell you, for you those one single up. people, oh. think out of the box. I had a love connection at one of my meetup groups. No! There you go. She's now what? a matchmaker. Yeah. Come on. Stop it. Tell us. We want to hear. Two youngins. We should have brought them on the show. Came alone. Unfortunately, one moved out of state, but they came alone, single, in their 20, young 20s. Both came alone. What? And Each with their own dog. It was the to my Halloween event. a great event. way to meet somebody. Yes. Best way to meet someone. We're getting Chrissy a dog. <laughs> I guess I'll get one. <laughs> so the dog parks are great places to meet you. Everyone just yeah. will talk around dogs. Yeah. So gives them dog a... walking, I've met people, dog wow. parks. But at my Halloween event last year two people met and started dating so they went out they dated for a few months lest i knew so all right we got to find out what's yeah, going on we go you see <clears throat> now i'm curious can Are you rent dogs married? can we rent chrissy and dogs <laughs> yeah can i rent? that's a good idea they that's have, a good business well, idea. it was just a prop i'm returning it we're dating i love yeah, you yeah i was just using it to be my soulmate i found him here's your dog <laughs> i don't want him anymore no that's not nice i do like dogs I just, I'm not home enough. I can't, I used to want a multi-poo. 
I almost got that's one. That's one of the oh, breeds that I used in Desire That's the one I dogs. wanted. That's so. a very but popular But I'm not home enough, so it would have been not nice. That's the problem. Well, that's why people use us and people for in-home pet services because they're not mm. home. I mean, it's definitely I didn't not know you guys fair. Existed. It's not fair to get a dog if you're never home. Yes. Right. But for people who usually are home, but then in the summer they're just going out east for the weekend. They're right. just going. They'll ask us to come two times while they're out at east all day, so they wow. don't feel bad. And so we, you won't bring the dog to you. Photos. You go to their house. We go to their house, or okay. I. I have people who are pet sitters for me, or I'll take one dog where do I am. Do you have the house key, though? How do you do it? How do you get in? Yeah, yeah. we have key, I the mean, codes. Co wow. garage, the codes. codes, alarm, codes, keys. Wow. Every house has cameras, so, you know, they try, it's a trusting relationship, obviously. Right. right. All the staff I would trust you if you came in. Your I, would, I would trust you. I'd be like, here's all my information. <laughs> My, my safe I is over you. there. My cash is over there. Well, you know what we do? They get a, their own doggy notebook. So Pumpkin's notebook will oh. say. Wait, what? Pumpkin, they get a what? Pumpkin, Pumpkin gets, gets a, a notebook. notebook. And what goes in there? It's a regular notebook, and we leave notes every visit so you know we came. Pumpkin so it's barked at the say, neighbor. Pumpkin barked Pumpkin at the neighbor Pumpkin tried to again. bite Chrissy. Pumpkin, Pumpkin tried to Chrissy. bite me, but I ran And I'm never coming back again. <laughs> We'll say Pumpkin had a great walk or let out if it's just yeah. backyard. Uh -huh. He did a few peas and a BM, and we oh, gave him wow. a I love water. this. It's very organized. Yes, we're very professional. It. That's the it. difference between us and you picking a random person off Craigslist. Don't do it, people. No. Right. We, I I'm would never talking go about Craigslist. people who, who charge less for pet sitting because they're going yeah. away for a week and they want to pay less. Don't take the shortcuts because we're insured and bonded. We're professional. We know what to do. Mm. We send you status reports. We'll email you photos. What? We'll photos we'll so while they're away, you're like, yeah. here's me and Pumpkin, oh like, chilling oh by the beach. Yes. I love that. Yes. Yes. Here's me and Pumpkin drinking Tito together. <laughs> we have a family away right now, and we're coming That's four awesome. times a day instead of sleeping over. They just sleep alone at night, and we're coming four times a day. And every day I'm sending wow. her photos because she's nervous. And every That's day really she's like, nice. love this one. Thank you. Aww. And I'm like, they love their bones. You know, my, my staff is going, and they're sending me the photos, and I'm forwarding to my clients. Now, do you take a bunch all at once and then just send them per sporadically for the week like you're there? They'll eat. Well, every day they go crazy. It was a joke, Heather. It was a joke. Now, sometimes <laughs> I'll get a few at a time and send yes. them, but my walkers literally go crazy with it. They're just taking them with their phone all day. I love it. Listen, we James, our videographer, keeps holding up. He's getting too used to this job. I know. I don't, I don't, I don't like know it. about this, James. You're fired. You're too bossy. You're too bossy. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take another commercial break. So we feel Grant Martito. Heather Lehrman. Thank you to our live studio audience. I know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Rehab Center located at 2025 Brentwood Road in Brentwood, New York. At the center, we offer chiropractic services, acupuncture, and physical therapy. We take most major medical, no fault, and workers' comp insurance. If you need these types of services, contact the offices at 631-234-4949. That's 631-234-4949. The number one fence provider on Long Island with the most inventory in stock, including vinyl chain link and a loop. offers a custom powder coated system that prevents rust throughout the life of the fence. We carry fence tools to the trade. We even stock wood, rail, and glass hardware as well. Shannon Gates has our very own patented locking system. The next time you need fencing of any sort, both commercial and private, give Shannon Gates a call at 631-392. You can also visit our website at shannonbeatsinc.com. Galaxy Luxury Coach is a full-service limousine and party bus company. Family owned and operated, we are an industry leader with over 25 years of experience in providing best-in-class luxury transportation for your special event. Whether it's your precious wedding day, an all-day wine tour out east, your high school prom, that special birthday, or just an amazing night on the town, our professional chauffeurs stand ready to ensure your special event is truly special. Galaxy Luxury Coach has one of the largest and modern party bus fleets in the New York area. Our party buses are simply nightclubs on wheels. Concert sound systems, light shows, lasers and strobes, multicolor LED lighting brilliantly lights your party bus inside and out. For corporate and more laid back events, we will cater to your specific needs and requests. What sets Galaxy aside from all others in the luxury transportation industry is our attention to detail in customizing our services to your special event. 
At Galaxy, it's all about you and your guests. Galaxy customers return time and time again because they know they can trust Galaxy to help deliver those lifetime memorable moments. Step aboard and let your Galaxy experience begin. Hello, I'm Dr. G. I've established an organization called Voices for Veterans. We use music to honor veterans and to help the public understand what veterans have gone through when they come home from war. On October 22nd of this year, we're going to have an incredible show, a three and a half hour concert at Malloy College, one of the greatest 500 seat theaters on Long Island. We're going to honor 25 veterans. We've taken an incredible band, 15 people from Long Island, some of the best musicians we could find, and we merged it with a 30 person choir, merging gospel with rock and roll. This incredible three and a half hour show is like none other that you've ever seen. This is Grammy quality. October 22nd, you can buy a ticket, you can make a donation, you can get involved, you can help us with the committee. You can look us up at v, the number four veterans.org and go on our website and get all the information about the show. Please make a difference to these veterans by coming aboard with us with Voices for Veterans. Thank you so Putting much. Putting out blazes and giving kittens CPR. Sometimes my duty demands I fan the flames, like when a call comes in from a lady who needs immediate assistance. Maybe she needs help with that computer thing. Maybe she wants to go antique. Could be as simple as understanding that walking in heels is... It's hard. Aussi simple que l'été dernier à Paris. C'est sympa. Maybe it's ladies' night in, and she wants a simple, delicious recipe for margaritas. With a twist. First, a can of limeade. Now hold on to this, you'll be using it. Side note, kittens make everything better. Next, add water. Now, a bottle of light beer. It's not, shh, trust me, I'm a professional. And last, and most important, Salsa Blue Tequila. Now, mix it up. Ole. Yes, that's what I'm trained for. Whether it's to help her choose leggings or pants, telling her leggings are pants, or discussing leggings and jeggings versus pant pegging at her next ladies' night in, I'll come to the rescue. Don't call me a hero. Just call me. Let me know what time. you're talking about over there. <laughs> I said I'm older than you. Oh, we got a nice got, new addition. We got pumpkin. We have our little nugget. He's not pumpkin. trying to bite me. No, he's be, he's behaving. Look at him. They, sh they shiver. He's, Why I did know. you have a shiver I like know. they're scared shitless? He's nervous right now. He's scared. He's they're on the camera. Always, he's, <laughs> he's not used to being on camera. Giselle, what the heck? He's very what nervous. What is that? Why are they always scared? Not all, well, not all dogs are scared. Even Grace no. is. But he's, look, he's being very good. He's being, oh. He's oh, great. Now he's getting right angry, guys. Don't he's show protect. people. He knows we're talking about him. <laughs> all right, Pumpkin, oh, calm oh, down. Good. Knock it off. Look at, here, give him some tea, though. Here you go. All right, so let's talk about designer dogs, because we don't want to run out of time. Okay. <laughs> designer dogs is my new company. That's which is all. Amazing. So I came up with designer dogs, it. because every day when we walk dogs, I get asked, what kind of dog is that? People don't use the word mutt anymore. So, <laughs> that's a designer so it's dog. That's a designer dog. When you mix two dogs together and you come up with a dog like multi poo, cockapoo, this that's poo, that like. poo, there's a million poos. But I also did it because Herbie's a Boston Terrier. People ask if he's a pug or a French mm. bulldog, just similar breeds. And I get asked every day still about Herbie. What so now you'll put on a, a shirt that says, that says I, I am a whatever they are. Terrier. Okay. So I, I launched this year, just brand new in January, but for a year and a half, I was working on the trademarks, the logos, everything. Oh. I created everything. I have all the doggy apparel, oh my gosh. tank tops, hoodies, raincoats, leashes. And I started with 20 top designer dog breeds. 
Wow. But now, Jesus. and this is a gift for Connie. I'm oh, so excited. Oh, oh, she loves pink. I love it. I got to get one for Grace. Thank my you, new, thank you. My new feature on designerdogs.com is you could tell me what breed you want on your raincoats because oh, they come plain it. and blue or pink, or I could put your breed, like I am a Chihuahua, I am oh, a Yorkie Poo, I'm a I Yorkie love Poo. that. So that was is, a smart idea, by the way. This is my new invention. That's perfect. Perfect. And this is for pumpkin. This pumpkin hates the rain. Now you so design. Perfect. You're in charge of all the designing of the clothes. Yes, I I, dis awesome. I work with manufacturers and design the clothes, and I trademark the logos and design a dogs is trademarked, and I and the book. I came out with the Wait, book. Let's talk on, about let's the talk book, about too. the book because yes. we love this. A uh, children's well, book. We love the raincoat. Pumpkin's yes. gonna love it. He hates the rain. <laughs> like, he really hates the rain. So this is going to be perfect. Chihuahuas hate everything, I'm starting to learn. This He'll is, have a raincoat, he won't even know it's raining. The raincoats are great <laughs> because they're full coverage in the front, and these are actually nighttime reflectors. So oh! Night, okay, so see you. Away? Or cars see you, they see the nighttime reflector. That was smart. It. That was smart. And it has the belt to go around the whole body, and Genius. these to go around the whole I got to get that for Grace. I'm so it stays it. on nice and snug. They don't get wet at all. I love, I love it. it. Do you sell boots? with that I don't sell that would be boots very yet. Cute. Yeah, no. they're hard to get on dogs so I, know. I have a pair of boots he hates them like, yeah they don't really, they don't money. generally yeah. like clothes my but, sister always tries to put like the costume during Halloween yeah they're like they get like very and they go get antsy yeah yeah, yeah. Like, run, yeah, yeah. No, they do but let's talk about your children's book quickly. Okay. Because um, that's important. Herbie also inspired my children's book because it was actually based on a true story. He's the no main way. character. Aww. Somebody bullied that's him? me and Herbie. He was bullied at the dog park. What? I'm going to punch that person in the face. It was by a dog. I get very, <laughs> guys, I get very angry. I don't know if anybody knows. Did you try to the dog when, when he was, no was a puppy, looking. unfortunately, they got into a little wow. tip. Scuffle. And... I decided to use the Smush Face group. These are all his friends. I love it. And each character has a, their own bullying story, and they go on a journey together, and they all overcome their bullying issue, and they become friends at the end, and they form a group mm. called Herbie and the Smushies. Oh, how and do you adorable. read this anywhere? Yes. Like, do you go to school? I've done elementary school assemblies, Girl Scout troops. I've gone Aww. to the Boys and Girls Club. These I are love great it. for elementary school kids, K through six. And can you give us a tip on what, what one of those dogs have done to overcome bullying? Yes. Do you that's punch a good the one. other dog in the face? <laughs> like I would do. I would just punch them in the face. It's very oh hard to do. What do you do? I will you punch you. Like, I let's will. look at the positive. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> The positive is, the positive is my fist coming in your face. So now I can walk away feeling fine. <laughs> I will give you a tip that is very sad when I see this happening, and yeah. it's usually small dogs are easy to break up. Yeah. You could just pick them up and yeah. break them up. But bigger dogs, Ugh. I've seen it tons of times in large dog parks, if they get into a fight and they're locked in together, there's only three ways of breaking up a dog fight. You mm. have to make a very loud noise, like a bullhorn. Mm. Ooh, do you carry That's one with you? That's the only way That's a good that point. they'll get knocked out of that frame of mind, mm -hmm. or a big gush of water. It can't be like your water Ooh. bottle you squirting carry on them. Right. It literally <laughs> has to be a big splash of water in their faces. You right. never go near their faces and try to break them up, or by their collars, you'll get bit. Ugh. And the only other way is taking their hind legs from behind and pulling them, but that's the, oh. the last thing because you could hurt them. Uh, but people usually don't, don't have the them. water on them, so I suggest bringing a loud noisemaker with you. Excuse me. That's a great idea. I would have never a thought about horn. that. I, know. I would have Who never would thought about that. You want? I've seen them lock jaws. Once they lock, they ah. will not open. Ooh. Because <laughs> that is getting angry right now. <laughs> That's what he did to me when I met him. And I was like, peace out, Connie. I'm out of here. I'll meet you up north. He is showing what to do at the dog park when another dog bullies you. <laughs> He's like me. Yes. He if, wants if to knock that little out. guy He's gets into a fight, pick him right up and He never take even him goes away. to the floor, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, before we... Uh, run out of time though I wanted to talk about how you met your lovely newlywed husband yeah. right I just got married congratulations and again I saw one of your shows about projecting and like mm -hmm. laws of attraction, laws of attraction. Yeah. I want to tell in. everybody six years ago I was in Turks and Caicos with a girlfriend at Club Med that was supposed to be for singles to what? meet somebody you never know because right? people from New York were down there how I didn't meet that? anybody it was a singles thing I didn't meet anybody but I was walking over to the next resort and I kept seeing weddings going on and I said, I'm getting married there one day. Aww. So three weeks ago, Steve and I got married in Turks and Caicos on Aww. the beach. And I didn't even know him. 
And I said I was getting married there someday. So you really now, have to believe it and project so it, and it happens. We want to hear. She just said the key thing: believe it and project it. Yeah. What if you keep getting discouraged? You, I mean, <laughs> guys, I hear Natalie. I hear Natalie sighing back oh there. You God. can't get discouraged because <laughs> that's I, my famous question, Natalie. I sighing. know that you asked me about online dating. You yes, didn't see yes. that online. Every you a lot of tell people us are where. doing it. You don't want to give it away. Well, I won't encourage any specific what website, but um, there are a million ways. To, pumpkin, be nice to my foot. No, he's okay. not. Okay. Nice. No. <laughs> there are so many different ways on online to meet people now and social media and everything but I agree we met on a website and we actually got off of it right away it wasn't really for us but okay that's why I'm not gonna really name but anything you met him on it but we met on it and we got off and just emailed each other well, wait what was the profile what did Steve have in his profile Steve that you was were the like... only gentleman that wrote me meaning Aww. what did he say he just wrote to me that he did not say anything mm -hmm. about the way I looked he about, didn't say you were hot. Uh, right. He, he didn't was like, use oh, But he was thinking it. Come on. Did he say, oh, you seem really smart? <laughs> <laughs> he was thinking it. He's a do guy. Remember, do you even remember what you wrote to me? What would you write, Steve? We don't remember what he wrote. I know he was, what you thought. But it was very what respectful. Would you write? I like that. It was respectful. Yes. And he basically, I said, I'm getting off this site. And he said, me too. And we had Aww. that in He's common. Like, me too now. <laughs> What didn't you like about the site, though? You met him on Because it, it was people from all over. Mm. And even if my filter said, 20 miles. I, I was gotcha. getting people from all over the yes. country. Oh, okay. I've, I've had that. And I was just oh. getting derogatory things and mm -hmm. I didn't have any photos of me in a bikini. Did you have a bikini shot? No. no. Nothing a bathroom like that. Shot. I was very conservative. It, very all dresses like this or and I had casual too. Did Steve have a bathroom shot? He didn't have Did any he do photos of himself. <laughs> where he's like flexing? He had no photos of himself at Thank all. God. Wait, what? No, so he just took one at work. Oh, okay. Uh, because that's, okay. I said, do you have any others? And he's like, no, I don't really have any photos of myself. Like, you, <laughs> that was a really good sign, like I that? think. But I have to say, we met for our first date at P.F. Chang's in Westbury. <laughs> he walked yeah. up to me. I was. He looked better in person than online Aww. because I know the opposite could happen a lot where right. they don't look like their picture right. and they lie about the way they look. And mm -hmm. I've, I've been through all that and I was never going to go online. So never say never. Wow. I'd never go back online. Never say never because... I tried all different things. I tried singles events. So I wait, so now what things. did you, so on your first date, were you like, oh my God, this guy's, I, I think I love him? Or were you like, he's pretty cool? No, I, not love, but I you felt had him. a big smile on my face when he walked up to me. And you we were like, had a freaking great, finally! We had yes. a great date, and two, a little over two years later, we just got married, so. How it, long were you on this online dating this, site? That one before was you met brand him. new, but I did online dating. No, but how long were you dating. on it before you met him? On that, the one that, that you met him on? Just, a couple of weeks, and I was like, I gotta get off of a this. A couple of weeks, and then you met him. Yeah, Jesus. But she was I've on been, other sites but prior. I was on other sites sure. prior, and I had good times and bad times. I dated other people from online, but they weren't for me. They didn't right. end up being for me, even if I dated someone for nine months. I mean, right. I did date other people from online, but I had bad experiences and good experiences. Like and anyone, I swore yeah. I would never go back online to meet somebody. But there was a time period where I felt lost, lonely, like I'm, I'm never going to meet anybody. I'm trying everything I possibly can. And I said, you know what? What the heck? I'm going to just try one more site. I never went on this one. I'll just try it and look what happened. So should people that feel like giving up on the online dating stuff, should they keep Stick trying? Is that there's, what you're there's gonna, you, Yeah, and obviously you got to weed through. I mean, yeah. I would get always have a phone conversation no matter what. And I always A lot of them just, don't. They want to just text and no. then you meet up. I, I like always, that, yeah. I never, if somebody asks me for my number, I never mm -hmm. let, if they, they started texting me like like a stalker, but I don't even know like you the next stalker. day, I would right. get like 50 <laughs> texts the next day, <laughs> block. I did a lot of blocking. You did? Yeah. Wow. yeah. I did a lot of blocking. Okay. But at least you knew It happens you even on social media, Facebook. Now, are you still, are you, is your profile still on online dating? No, oh my gosh. No. She just got married. <laughs> it's been awesome. Now, you have, we met. You have to remove, you have to physically go on to remove yeah, your Yeah, I know you have to delete the whole account. they will consistently have you on, yes. even if you cancel your subscription. I'm waiting for Catfish to call me that someone's been no. using my picture. No. Because it's, did I you well, get no, it? someone <laughs> used our picture. We get it. Oh, that's right. We were on Tinder. We were on Tinder. That's right. Someone. You never know. know. <laughs> I'm but like, wait, we need to prove you, that. Laura, for I don't know. think that's the only way to meet people. Yeah. I think you should, people should go out of that box. Like I said, go to different events. Like, go to shelter charity events. Like, I a like lot of things. Saying, I yes. like a lot of animal-related things. Guys love their pets too. That's it's true. Not just go to the girls. dog park. I, I swear. I don't have a dog. I'll bring Grace. 
for You him. could come to one of my meetup uh, for, groups. Go act like I care about him. I'm like, <laughs> good, guys. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I wanted everybody to check out designerdogs.com because yes. this is my new baby. We love it. And wait, and don't you have an event coming up this weekend? Yes, yes. This Sunday, oh. I will be at the Long Island Vets Classic Car Show. All right. So it's a really cool thing for guys and girls oh. to come to see we should go. just anything like this to meet All right. people. Maybe my soulmate's And there. it's from All 9 right. to 4 on Sunday at Beth Page Credit Union in the parking lot in Beth Page at 899 South Oyster Bay Road. Oh, you memorize that. <laughs> nice. And what's your website I'm that everybody could go to to hire you? Or buy your clothes? Designerdogs.com. So okay. it's Spell it. D E Z. I N E R okay. dogs.com. We have it up there. And if we want to hire you as our pet sitter? In home pet services .com And you That's put easy. in your zip code and we'll have different locations. You'll see one of our in Long Island, Queens, or Brooklyn okay. will pop up if you pu just punch in your zip code. And Heather, what That's about it. if someone wants to buy your book? Oh. My book's on designerdogs.com and on Amazon.com. Amazon Kindle? Uh, not Can you yet. Download it? I didn't ebook it yet. All right, I'm going right. to though. It's so cute though. I like the colors. It's adorable. Yeah, you want to buy I the love hard it. copy. So come it. on down to the Long Island Bets. I'm gonna have a designer dog's booth that'll have all my apparel, my book you signing, and Herbie will be there. I want the pink raincoat. You rain can meet famous Herbie. He Herbie. is adorable. Oh, we want to meet Herbie. We should have gotten a picture and showed everybody. I, I know Herbie's in the back of the book though. Why did go we go buy your Herbie? book and you're gonna see you a picture of Herbie? should have brought Herbie here. I. Is Herbie, it too wild? Said, Herbie would have been worse than no, Pumpkin Herbie all over the place. been like, I'm bored, get me off your lap. All right, like, you see my dog? Oh, I love, I love my dog. I don't want to sit on your lap, and I'm not wearing pink for the show. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> Wait, we're going to have him wear the pink raincoat. I have a I blue, know. one uh, of my blue, blue sorry, blue. hoodies. He has, he has, I am a Boston Terry. He's my model. I am a Boston Terry hoodie. I, I have it. leashes. Oh, I am a Boston Terry. He's Let's my walking billboard. Back. All right. Aww. So listen, Heather, you are amazing. Yes. Go to Amazon.com. You're beautiful and amazing. And then also, everyone, please go to Facebook. Chrissy and I, we oh. have been part of the Madhouse YouTube channel, which we love. But we wanted to dedicate it specifically to date night. So go to YouTube, Date Night with Connie and Chrissy, and go like and subscribe to our yes. page. And you'll see our whole one-year anniversary of our show. You uh, will in a day. James <laughs> did a 45-minute <laughs> That's uh, right. You're going to see. Video of it. Exactly. Of all the interviews that but we did. We've been a little busy. Heather will be on there. Heather made a good appearance. I had a great time. Steve and I had a great Thank time. Thank you so much for party. coming. That was very nice. We were a little busy out and about. So the, the video's not up there just yet, but it'll be up there right. in the next day. So Bye check tomorrow. Out. Day James, by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you're fired. <laughs> Day and I was coming. I love you, Chrissy. James. Check it out on YouTube and subscribe. Thank you, Heather. You're Thank amazing. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I'm so glad I met you, Thank girls. You. See you back next Wednesday. So, so Saturday or Sunday? Sunday. 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 We'll see.